Hello everyone, I'm Rish Tholi from Nepal representing my topic in APCIS 2021 in mathematics category. The topic of my research is mathematical model for protecting digital identity. Today, digitalization has caused us to create several digital accounts which are our digital identities and we have been using passport to protect this identity since the very first authentication system was developed and there have not been so many improvements in this system till date. But the computer is advancing day by day. This on new development has caused advancement in various techniques like brute forcing which can be used to crack the password easily. Here, we can see the advancement of capability of computer to try different combinations for cracking password in a second with time. So, now we are clear that using password possesses several risk factors. So, this study focuses on implementation of key-based authentication system, a more secure and reliable means of authentication. Talking about the key-based authentication system, it uses RSA encryption to verify a user's identity. RSA encryption consists of two key pairs, public key pair and private key pair. Here, public key is used to encrypt the message and private key to decrypt the encrypted message. Encryption is the process of taking a plain text like your message and scrambling it into unreadable format. The unreadable formatted text is called encrypted text. And the process to convert encrypted text again into readable format is called decryption. Due to some distinct mathematical property of RSA algorithm, once a message has been encrypted by the public key, it can only be decrypted by another particular key known as private key which is to be kept secret. So to visualize it, let's look at a simple example. If we are given that the multiplication of two number is 1000, then the two number cannot be exactly determined. But if we are given when two is multiplied with another number, it reaches 1000, then we can easily predict the number is 500. This relationship is known as trapdoor function and this is what makes RSA encryption possible. The above problem can be solved by computer in a matter of seconds, so very large unique prime numbers are to be chosen, which take a lot of computational resource and time. Thus, the statement of our problem is to develop mathematical algorithm to generate big but random prime number with the use of minimum computational resource and in minimum time. Now, let's look at mathematics involved in this research. For generating big prime numbers, first we choose a random number of required length. Then the number is divided by the first 100 prime numbers. This step is called low primarity test. If the number is divisible by any number among the first 100 primes, the process is repeated from step 1. Then, Robin Miller primarity test is conducted multiple times to ensure the number is a strong probable prime. According to Robin Miller primarity test, a number is a strong candidate for prime if it satisfies the condition when a number raised to power n minus 1 is divided by n, the remainder is 1, where a is any number between 1 and n, and n is random number that was chosen. If the number passes through this test, it is a strong probable prime number, so it is either displayed or saved. For generating RSA key pairs, first n is calculated as the product of p and q, where p and q are the prime number that can be generated by using the algorithm mentioned earlier. Then using Carmichael situation function, the number of integers co prime to n and between 1 and n is calculated as lambda n equal to LCM of p minus q and q minus 1. Now e is considered such that e is greater than 1 but less than lambda n. Then a test condition is run, that is, if HCF of lambda n and 1 is 1, if the condition is false, another value of e is chosen. Similarly, if it is true, then d is calculated as the inverse modulo of e with n and thus obtain E and D are public and private key pairs respectively and we can use the below formula to encrypt and decrypt the text. Implementation of a project When a user first registers on a website where a key based authentication system is used, he or she enters the username along with the public key. The website accepts the public key and stores it in database. When he or she tries to log in, the website requests the database to get the particular user public key which is used to encrypt a random text and the random text is given to a user as a challenge to decrypt it. Since it can only be decrypted if the user trying to log in has his or own private key, authentication is done if the user solves the challenge successfully. The research above was finally able to solve the problems that one can face during the implementation of a key pair based authentication system that is generating big prime numbers efficiently and through the proper use of mathematical theorem and algorithm we can increase the security and reliability of the digital account. Thank you, APCOS 2021, for providing the golden opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe.